Welcome back once again, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And continuing on with our Logic Pro 10 beginners course, we're gonna take a look at uh, the cycle button. I kind of mentally refer to it as a loop button because it acts just like a loop feature. But in Logic Pro 10, it's referred to as a cycle button. So let's take a look at this guy in a little bit closer detail. First of all, well, you can see when I activated it, it highlights a region and then I can move that loop as far out or as close as I want to loop. Let's try, I'll just start like right in here at three bar or two bars. Hit play and we'll kind of watch what that does for us. So you can see how it just looped over and over there with the two bar region. We can make that shorter and longer depending on what our project needs are. So let's see here. Um, if let's say the playhead is out here around like bar 18 and with the cycle button on, I hit play it's going to bring the playhead back to the beginning of the cycle loop and start there. So no matter where I'm at in the project, the playhead is going to come back and cycle for me. Let's take a look at the tuner. Now the tuner is going to allow us to tune an instrument, say a guitar or uh, whatever instrument we're using, you know, if we have it plugged in. Right now it's detecting random room noise and probably a little bit of my voice trying to figure out what key I'm speaking in, but it allows us to tune instruments. Really nice handy little feature there. And let's look at let's look at the record right here. Let's say where is that replace? That's what I was after. Let's say we record enable this track here. It has some audio on it and I hit record. Let's watch what happens. You can see it recorded over that audio that it was existing already existing there. But did you see what else happened as soon as I hit stop? Let me I'm going to command Z. It's going to delete that and I'm going to show you that one more time. So I'm going to put the playhead in front of the audio. This is the we're working on this guy right here. We've got it record enabled. There's already uh, source material there, but we're going to record right over top of it. And then when I hit stop, we've got the original material down here is take one. We've got take two and then the take on top. So all we have to do, whichever one we want to hear or listen to, we can just highlight it right there. So if we wanted to hear the original material, or if we wanted to hear the new recording. So Command Z to get rid of that. Just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about recording over already existing audio and how Logic Pro uh, 10 will actually open up additional folders for you and give you um, more flexible options in that manner. So we've got um, the count button which we've gone over and then we've got the click and replace features there. So let's come back and take a closer look at the guy right in the middle here and I'll see you in the next lesson.